Hi there and welcome to a cold workshop on this uh, just after Christmas morning. Uh, what I'm going to do today is attach uh, an Aventail to a bassinet. I'm not going to claim that everything I do on this is historical. Um, a lot of it is just stuff that I found out along the way and it kind of works. A few tricks taught me by a couple of other folk. Um, so it's really just going to be a collection of um, ideas, hints and tips and how to do various bits and pieces. Um, I'm a little way into the process uh, already, so I'll try and recap what I've done as best I can, uh, and then we'll press on. And um, like I say, not an A to B of how to do something in this case, um, but more just sort of a collection of hints and tips that I hope you'll find uh, an odd little useful bit in there as you go forward with your um, armour making. So a quick word about the mail and what I've um, been taught and have read and found out. In this instance, I'm using 9mm uh, diameter wedge riveted mail. I believe in most historical cases it's about 5-6mm uh, with proper rivets, not wedge rivets, uh, for aventails. Now this aventail I've got, I've already cut to shape and size, but a great bit of advice that was given to me by several different people actually is to, if you're not a uh, mail tailor, is get hold of a coif of mail, so that's the one that looks like a hood off of your uh, preferred supplier, get your bassinet and then put the mail you've got, the coif, over it backwards. So if this was the whole hood, that would come up over the helm and the face gap would be here. So obviously it would support its own weight. Find where it needs to sit, where you like it to sit, make a chalk line and then make your cut. That way you'll end up with mail across the lower part of the face like you should have um, if you're copying historical versions, rather than it sagging down the front like some sort of um, chin beard I guess or something like that. This way you'll end up with that look there and if you can grow yourself a decent long moustache you can have the bits flicking over the edge just like you see on the effigies, although that must really hurt. Um, but there you go, get yourself a coif, drop it on the top, put it down, mark it up, cut it, and then you will be left with a fitting aventail very quickly. Making the leather to go on the back of the helm can be a bit problematic sometimes. These are two different sizes of helms uh, here. But what I'd suggest is once you've made your helm and it's done, uh, before you attach your vervel in whatever shape and form they might happen to be, put some masking tape, if you're not sure how to make patterns, some masking tape across it, mark the shape on it of your pattern that you like, carefully take it away, stick it on some card, and then you will have a proper fitting aventail for that helmet. If you've already cut your mail, you know your mail will fit, and then very quickly you know that you have mail that will fit a leather that will fit the bassinet. So everything's cut. We know that the leather fits the bassinet. We know that this fits on the bassinet. So with the leather there, that will be just right. I've laid this down so I can see where the back and the front is because it's easy to get lost. And what I've found works well for me anyway is just find the middle one and then tie a bit of thread. To attach this to the leather I tend to use an artificial sinew. I suspect back in the day they would have used wax linen principally but then any sort of thread or cordage that does the job would have been used. Um, and I'm sure sinew might have been one of those. Um, but I use this artificial sinew just because it's easy to get hold of, uh, looks the part and is very strong. I've never had this fail or rip um, I've had some linen once go on me, um, and I've just stuck with this ever since. Um, I think, if memory serves me well, I got these from, yeah, there we go, from Tandy. They were just on a special offer, so I grabbed a couple, and I've used them ever since. Um, so far out of this, you can see there's a, an unused one compared to that. I've got about three or four uh, Aventails out of this. So I'll show you how I prepare the um, thread, and then we'll take it from there. So when the sinew comes off, it's very flat. Like this way you get so much of it on these um, reels. Uh, you can twist it by hand. It's a little sticky, and that kind of works. And you can get it like that. What I tend to do is make sure I've got about two and a half times what I need. 
sometimes even three actually. Double it up and then spin it together. Which I'll show you how I do that next. And then stick the other end in the drill. When you finished, give it a slight pull. There you go. Take it out, the drill job's done. And there you go, nice and strong. Just take any last flex out of it so it doesn't stretch when it's in place. There's a nice strong thread to use. So I've marked the center of the Avento and I like to start in the back. There's my thread that we did before. Now a quick word on this, obviously this would be the outside. Don't sew your mail to the outside of the venter, uh, to the outside of the leather here. It makes no sense. Anything coming down there is going to catch that and probably just tear the uh, thread straight out. This way round, it's going to make itself over the vervels. If it manages to do that, it's got far less chance of being torn off. So you do your sewing. on the inside of the piece there. So the way I get started that's always worked well for me is just go through the back so it's always tidy on the outside come back through tie a knot this stuff's so thick tie a loose knot pass your needle through it put it back through Tighten your knot off. Don't have to be too tight. To be honest, this is so sticky. And there you go. So that's now nicely knotted. Find that. Make sure your mail's not inside out. I'll grab two in this case because I want to take in a wee bit of slack. Take that round. Back out the front, and there's your first stitch done. I go all the round, leaving a gap, which I'll do next, and then show you that. And then I go through it all again with another thread as well. And then that way, if a bit breaks, it's going nowhere. So I've done a quick pass uh, with the thread that you saw me prepare, and I've gone one way, uh, and it gives you this alternate stitch here. Then what I do is I tie that off at the end uh, of it here and bring it back through freshly through there so that becomes a solid line of stitching. And then we repeat on the other side and we're finished. So here we are, all done. Keep your stitching nice on the outside. Do any knots and tying off on the inside. Protects them, less likely to get smacked there. It also makes this look a bit neater. By keeping these all flat and universal on the inside there, it keeps them looking the same way on the outside here and you get a decent drop on the mail that looks nice and smart. I have seen a couple of effigies, I think it's effigies, um, that might show a double layer, a double row of stitching, one and two. So instead of just being stitched once, it's actually further up and it's stitched twice. Something to consider depending upon your use. But it's very difficult to get into this stitching because you're going to be bouncing off vervels if you are chopped in the back of the head like that. I think you're going to have bigger issues than a little drop stitch uh, which can be easily repaired. So there you go, a simple way of attaching the Aventail uh, to the leather ready to be popped onto the bassinet.